In fact, I don't even know if I, should, if I have to tell you guys not to do that. Y'all just probably already know not to do that. What's up y'all? I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be talking about something very cringy. Y'all this is something I have never actually gotten over as a child because how do you get over something like this? You know? As you can see from the title, mm. all right, I'm gonna turn this into like a story time. I can't really say it's a story time because there's no actual story. It's just something that happened repeatedly. <laughs> this is something that repeatedly happened to me as a child before the sexual abuse came along. Now I'm not sure if this was considered abuse. It must not have been. I don't know y'all. Like, have any of you gone through childhood with a parent that pretty much yanked your teeth out violently? See, I went through that. And y'all, that shit was not fun. I don't know if it's a Jamaican thing. I honestly don't know if it's some kind of West Indian thing because my father's side is West Indian for the most part. Jamaican, Trini, all of that. That's where they're from. And I'm not sure if this is common over there. I'm not sure if this is how they get teeth out. I don't, I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to get to the point of this video because I'm just still baffled thinking about it. So, when I was young, I when I started getting loose teeth, my dad would like check my mouth. He would check my mouth and he realized I was getting loose teeth. He would wiggle it, you know, make sure it was, you know, getting loose or whatever. And then it was as if he had a paranoia about it. Like, okay, oh, we gotta get this tooth out really quick because I don't want you to choke on it. And I'm like, choke, okay. I don't think I'm gonna swallow my tooth, but okay. I don't think I'm gonna accidentally swallow it, but that was his thing. He claimed to be paranoid over the fact that I might swallow it and he just wanna hurry up and get it the hell out. Me as a child, I didn't understand that. I was like, okay. My mom told me it was going to fall out when it wants to fall out, and usually she just left me alone. But my dad, he was the one paranoid over it. So, okay, I just went on about life, and um, one day when my tooth got really loose, I guess, I can't say really, I can't say it was like super loose, but the first time, y'all, I went through this, I was so, so traumatized. Y'all, my tooth was like really, really loose. He would take his finger and try to yank it out. And you, that hurt enough because, of course, y'all know when your tooth is not ready to come out, it ain't ready to come out. You should not yank on it like that. Like, it should be really, really, really loose before you start pulling, you know? But he had no mercy. He didn't exactly do that. Now, like I said, I don't know. This might have been something he went through when he was a child. I don't know if, I don't know why he repeated the same thing if it was traumatizing. I don't know. It's, people are just weird. But either way, it happened to me. So, y'all, like I said, the first time he tried yanking my uh, tooth out with his hand and it wasn't coming out. So, I don't remember if he lit it with a few days or not. I don't know if he said, okay, fuck it, I'll just come back when it's looser. You know, I don't remember. I was really young. I honestly don't remember. But either way, he kept trying to take it out and I kept telling him, ow, okay, it hurts. And he wouldn't stop. He just kept doing it. So, I'm just like, okay, what the fuck? Now, having a loose tooth is supposed to be fun and it ain't so fun. So, one day, he I don't know if it was the same day or not, this is just what happened afterward, he pulls out a pair of pliers. <gasps> so, I'm getting really worried because I'm like, what are those for? And, 
yo, he takes the pliers and yanks the, yanks the freaking tooth out, or he tries to rather, because, yo, I'm just cringing just thinking about it, the pain, the pain, the pain, yo, oh my, mm -hmm. my teeth hurt right now just thinking about that shit, he took the pliers, y'all, and grabbed the loose tooth, and yanked as hard as he could, oh my god, I don't know why, I screamed bloody murder, I don't know why he even did that, I don't know, Y'all tell me if this is a thing. If this is a thing. Somewhere. Anywhere. Let me know. Because I'm completely, completely undereducated on this. I'm just telling you this is how I grew up. And it was horrible. I think my sister went through the same thing. I'm not totally sure. I'm not sure if he was as brutal with her as he was with me. But either way. I had my teeth yanked out with pliers. And that pain was just traumatizing. I know you're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to yank stuff out. You're not supposed to force things when it's not ready. You know, even a body part, you're not supposed to force it. It's not ready. But that's what happened to me. And it wasn't just this one time, y'all. Like I said, this is a reoccurring thing. Every loose tooth I had, he would check my mouth. And he would always be checking my mouth. And it was a thing. I got scared to, um, y'all, I didn't even tell my dad when I had a loose tooth. I didn't even fucking tell him. I told my mom. That's it. And I don't think she told him because she already knew the, the inevitable pain. I don't know if she agreed with it or not. I honestly don't know. I would assume not because that's just cringy for anybody. But for some reason, men just like doing these things for some reason. Some men are just brutal like that. I can't ever see a woman taking a pair of pliers and just yanking. I can't see that. I can't even see a woman taking her fit, her hand and just um, yanking to the point of, you know, pain, you know? So that's what happened to me. Every loose tooth I had, I tried to hide it. I never wanted to go near my dad. I tried to hide it. And, um, this is when I was, like, really young. We were still living in New York. I would hide it. I never wanted him to know when I had a loose tooth. I started to hide it. I started to, like, get away from him. I started to, like, make up excuses. I started to not play with my tooth in front of him accidentally. You know, like, when kids, like, move their teeth back and forth. I started just to not do any of that because the moment he knew I had a loose tooth, here come them damn pliers, y'all. Here they, here they come. I hated it. I fucking hated that era of my childhood. I hated it. And from that point on, I told me, I told myself, when I have kids, I'll never do that. Never, ever, 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 ever. I don't see how anybody can even fucking do that. Like, seriously. Like, oh my god. Like, um, what in the entire fucking hell happened here? Like, where did that come from? You know, is this some kind of generational thing? Where did that come from? Did that come from slavery? Did they do that in slavery? I don't know. Let me know. I needed to like kind of do some research on that. Yanking your teeth out with pliers. Yanking your teeth out, period. Just, no, it's supposed to fall out on its own. I've never had to yank any of my kids' teeth, teeth out. They fell out on their own gracefully. I ain't got to pull nothing. I ain't got to worry about them choking on it. I mean, yeah, that's always kind of like a little bit of scare, but what are the chances of your child going to sleep and oh the tooth goes down their throat <laughs> come on <laughs> like seriously what are the fucking chances let's just be realistic here mm -mm. <sighs> so like I said I hated it and I honestly I think I have probably like trauma from that as far as my teeth like now I have a lot of dental problems and I believe my dad yanking my teeth out forcefully with pliers to the point where it just bled everywhere might have caused that because they, they tell you everything that has done that was done to you as a child that was traumatizing has a part to play in your adulthood they tell you that and the older i get the more i see it's true that shit's true even now and stuff like that i mean yanking your teeth out before they're ready could could cause some dental problems i mean we don't know anything that happens to you could, could be um something that could affect you later on in life we don't really know that's why we're not supposed to do these things I just want to know if anybody else has been through this. Has one of your parents just forcefully yanked your baby teeth out way before they were ready? Like, that's not a thing, y'all. Don't, don't do that. Please don't do that. In fact, I don't even know if I, should, if I have to tell you guys not to do that. Y'all just probably already know not to do that. <laughs> so, yeah, I just want to know if that's some kind of Jamaican thing. I don't know. Let me know. Oh, let me know if you like the story. Let me know how cringy it was. Let me know how many times you cringed during this video. And 
and uh, leave all your other opinions and comments down below and we'll chat about this whole tooth issue thingy. Let's just talk about it. Make sure you like and subscribe. I have plenty more videos coming up and I hope you guys are having a great day, month, year, hour, second, and century. And I hope you guys come back and watch. I have more videos coming up. Um, sorry if I look kind of tired right now. I'm always looking tired because the only time I get to do these videos is late at night when my children are asleep. There's no noise. Everybody's out of my damn way. That's the only time I can film. So, um, yeah, I always, I'm always going to look tired for a good minute. So, gotta accept that. You know, it comes with the territory. It's called being a YouTuber. So, take it or leave it. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.